So the previous speaker, Andrei Martin, raised an interesting issue, setting up uh, the uh, boundaries uh, of uh, limitations. And this presentation is dedicated to this issue somehow, because with the development of industrial lands, we see that there is a need to organize better and put into structure these uh, limitations uh, related to the industrial lands of territorial communities. Territorial communities now are responsible for collection and filling up the databases, therefore, we need to understand clearly what territorial communities should be based off on so that uh, the decisions would have a legal status and uh, re correspond to the uh, uh, practical use of uh, lands. So, so some components uh, which meet fully the law of Ukraine on the geospatial data. The blue underlines the important components which uh, uh, related to the industrial lands. For us to maintain the balance of rights of owners and users of the industrial lands, on the other hand, the connected users and uh, owners of uh, land parcels, we need to know clearly the information uh, based on geospatial ми говоримо. Звичайно, вони ці базові геопросторові дані не можуть з'явитися uh, which are related to industry. At the next slide, uh, you see some information related to opportunities which we have now. Now we have a resolution by the Cabinet of Ministers on the uh, State Land Cadaster additions 44 and uh, amendments 44 and 43 with the requirements on information supports to form and the limitations and information support to objects uh, in, uh, industrial objects which we are discussing now interesting information in this table it's about the limitation of land use you see that those elements which must be obligatory those elements which are recommended to be for information to be included into the state cadaster and those which depends on the uh, presence it is presented in this form in order to simplify the understanding of this information but we see that the obligatory should be the number of territorial zone code type and uh, a number number of the objects uh, territory which is subject to limitations and the list of uh, documents which are which form the basis for uh, limitation Another component related to such uh, objects is uh, here is the description, which includes the number, place, location, uh, territory, as well as uh, geometric information or geospatial data, which is the ground for further state registration what is wrong at the first glance at the first glance everything is nice but there are certain components which need clarification first uh, uh, thing which causes uh, 
uh, the, the first issue uh, which causes concern is if it is present. So uh, this, all the information is important for the development of industrial lands and lands of territorial communities in general. Therefore, the issue of the if uh, it is present uh, for including it into the state land cadaster, uh, should uh, be argumented uh, additionally. So for at the level of the territorial community to understand when it's fine, but when it's information is not important. There is another component. There is no information on relation between the object and the zone around it, uh, which is subject to limitations. We all know that when the it's a, uh, types of activities of industrial enterprises, also the zone may be changed, uh, and these changes uh, somehow should be accounted for, and territorial community must uh, know about it. and. Uh, there is no information about system of coordinates, uh, description, and lines and dots related to limitations that is in the structure of relevant additions to the resolution by the cabinet of ministers. It is absent, but this information is important for general understanding of relevant measures. The guidelines of limitations which are not obligatory according to um, appendix 43 should be made um, obligatory because in our opinion uh, this is a systemic uh, component which should be properly regulated analyzing the approaches uh, to information uh, provisions uh, we can formulate the issues which are outstanding and require urgent resolution and which are uh, not unequivocal in uh, their formulations. Currently, the legislation of Ukraine uh, provides uh, information about where to take information about the, the use of land and so on, but very often at the level of territorial communities, this information is distorted or there's a lack of access to, to it. So we should understand in each individual case what is the most important. And there should be a uniform approach to the use of uh, industrial lands. And for that, we need to um, bring all the relevant uh, regulations in line with the latest uh, recently adopted pieces of uh, legislation. We have to also clarify the information and technical uh, support for decision making, like uh, what, what to do if um, an enterprise changes uh, uh, its, uh, mm, its type of production. For instance, if they increased um, manufacture and we need to uh, uh, regulate it because it makes an impact on the land use in one area or another. It should be very transparent and clear-cut uh, regulations about that with uh, obvious clarity of who is responsible for what. All these issues uh, are not straightforward and simple, and they are related to a lot of controversial documents. But we should raise this issue anyway, and uh, even when we discuss it, we are on our way to resolution. Thank you for this opportunity, colleagues. Uh, I've uh, shared some of the painful issues that I'm concerned with, and um, I'm sure that in the future we will uh, cooperate for the benefit of territorial communities for the future. Thank you.